Hello family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and welcome back to Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang's Destiny, a cooperative deck building game from The Op. Three bullet points going into this, as we're going to be doing for pretty much every episode. Number one, thank you so much to The Op for sending me a copy of this game for me to be able to play it for you guys, show you off all the awesome things, and really, really, really show my love for Avatar The Last Airbender, the series. That actually will bring me right over to number two. Two, and that would be spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. Yep, so all of these, as I've mentioned in my first video for box one, uh, are going to be going through a lot of the details for box two. You're going to see a lot of the cards, like the adversaries uh, up of it that way, or the uh, Fire Nation cards, all of the objectives, various new cards from the uh, support deck over here. You're going to be seeing a lot of stuff that's going to be within box two of this game. In addition to that, you'll be seeing key points from the actual show of Avatar The Last Airbender. So if you haven't seen the show yet, I mean, you're here, so you obviously like it in some way, shape, and form, but if you haven't finished watching it or started watching it, whatever, please do that. Please, please, please. It is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful show, and I think everybody should experience the animated version. And then watch the live action. I actually really like the live action. I and mean, there are things I had problem with it, but that's not part of this discussion. What is part of the discussion is number three, the bullet point being that if this game interests you and you're looking to pick it up, there are various ways you can do that. First and foremost, we always recommend going to your friendly local game stores, being sure to check them out, ordering it through them, support them. They are the lifeblood of all board gaming communities. Uh, otherwise, that you can find it online down in the description section below. There are uh, links for the OP, so you can go on to the op site, pick it up directly from there. There is an affiliate link for Amazon also that you can pick this up from. My affiliate link that you can use right there. Y using that link to purchase a game will go a long way to helping uh, the channel grow because, you know, that's an affiliate link. I do get a bit. And that link itself is also from the ops Amazon account. So it's not like you're buying it third party off of Amazon. You're actually buying it through the op using their Amazon account. See, that's that's kind of how all that works together. Uh, but otherwise that, that is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed box one going through this because now we are on to ba -da -da, box two, Siege of the North. So box two is pretty much going to cover the second half of the Book of Water, which is, you know, season one, book one of Avatar The Last Airbender. We have a whole new stack of objectives up here that we're going to be going through. But before I start talking about all the new stuff that box two introduces to the game, both cards and mechanics, I do just want to go over really quickly stuff that goes back into box one. Now, first and foremost, the thing you're going to want to put back into box one that you're not going to need for this as well is the pile of objectives that you completed from box one. And that doesn't include the rewards. The rewards themselves will go back into their appropriate boxes a little bit later. But for box one, besides the stack of objectives, you're gonna wanna be putting in these two cards, the Fire Sage Shu and this Commander Zhao. Both of them actually say 1-1 on the bottom. So basically, the first number will always represent what box you initially put it in from. The second number will represent when it goes back. So this is at the end of box one. Both of these actually go back as well. We will no longer be seeing them. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about this game is the evolution of the enemies that you fight in here. Because one thing I had a problem with with Harry Potter Battle of Hogwarts is that you fight Quarrel in book one because he's the villain. And then by the time you're in book seven, you're still fighting Quarrel, which makes no sense. So at least with uh, Avatar, they found a way to kind of rotate things through and you're able to, uh, you know, actually fight appropriate enemies going forward and not have to deal with them again. Now, with that said, the stack here is doubled. There's like 10 enemies in this now instead of five, and we're still only dealing out one per turn. But before we go into all some of the new stuff here, let's head on over to the sideboard and I can explain the new mechanic that Box 2 introduces. All right, we'll get a little bit more details with Ang and Appa in a little bit, but what I want to talk about is this spot right here. You may have noticed that in uh, when I did Box 1, and I mentioned something really quickly about an ally section here that was not used for that particular game because that's they wanted to give you a little bit more of a basic how to play beforehand, which if you don't know how to play, definitely go watch box one. Uh, otherwise, uh, just watch me go through this. I'm going to kind of explain things as I go along anyway. But this mechanic was not used. So what this is, is you can place allies here that have particular bending skills in order to unlock the abilities for bending cards. For example, say I have... Tyro here. You can either purchase Tyro for four from the market or play him from your hand. So either or, I can purchase him or play him 
And when I do either one of those things, I can choose to turn him sideways and lay him down into this little reserve slot here. While he is there, because he is an earthbender, Aang has the ability to use the bottom half of all earth bending cards. Now anybody can use any bending cards they want, but they can only use top unless they have the ability to bend the particular element down on the bottom, then you do both. So as long as Tyro is here, uh, Aang can use both of these uh, sections for Rock Spike, for example. Tyro does not get his special ability, by the way, this passive or whatever does not trigger. While they are here, they only apply their bending skill. Now the other thing you gotta remember is that you can only put allies here for bending skills your character does not have. Let's check out Master Paku right here. I mean, we're going into the second half of uh, book one. You know, he's, he's a key player once you get to the north. Um, if you don't know who he is, definitely, again, watch the show, please do. So this guy right here is a waterbender. Aang could not put him down in reserve because Aang initially always has water bending. He will always have water bending. He will always have air bending. Eventually, of course, he will get all four, but that'll limit him to what allies he can actually have down in here. So again, Tyro can go here because he's an earthbender, but Appa, for example, could purchase Master Paku and he could be riding on his back and whatnot. And now Appa has the ability to cast special abilities from water bending cards. So it has to be a bending technique that the character does not have. This is what makes Sokka so good for this game because he'll gain allies like crazy and you can have more than one ally here so long as it's a bending skill you don't have. For example, because we're gonna do that, let's take Avatar Roku. Avatar Roku is an avatar just like Aang. He has the ability to do all four elements. And when you place him into reserve, you can pick any one of the elements that you do not have. It has to only be one. He does not represent all, well, he does represent all four, but you can't use all four. So for example, I can put him right here and have a second ally with Aang and then give him firebending. Not that I can use that for anything, but I'll show you what another ability the allies have later. Uh, or if I had Roku and Appa happened to have him in his hand, I can throw him down here and have him gain access. Where's my little token? There it is, to earthbending. So, so long as you have an open element, you can place a bender, only an ally bender, and it'll say, you know, which uh, elements that they have the ability to bend up here, down in these spots in order to access those particular elements. Now, there is one really crazy ability to allies that to me is a little bit broken, but I get it. If you get the right setup, you're gonna love it. So basically the way that works is say you bought Avatar Roku here for eight. You got him from the market. Normally they go right to your discard pile, but instead you decided to go ahead and place him into the reserve area for Aang in order to access his firebending. Great, wonderful, and all that. You could then immediately, as soon as you do this, choose to discard Roku from your ally uh, ability in order to, or ally section right here, in order to trigger his ability. So in a sense, you're paying the eight to quickly throw them here, to put them into your discard pile, to trigger his power. So you don't have to wait for a whole rotation in order to do a bender's ability. It's a little broken in a sense, but it is a thing. I've read the instruction a few times. That is how I'm interpreting it or whatever, and how I've seen it played also. So it, it's crazy that I could spend eight and then immediately just put Roku here as fire. I don't have any fire, so I don't have to worry about it. Throw him into my discard, and then every hero can choose two. So that is another thing. Same thing for Tyro here. I could choose at any point to toss him into my discard pile, and then to the end of my turn, all allies would go on top of my deck instead of my discard pile, and I would gain uh, my two purpose right there. But then he would immediately go to the discard pile, and I would lose my earthbending. So it's just another ability that you could use for benders, by immediately tossing them, and if you have nothing to do with water, whoop, and he's gone, and then you could use one of his other abilities or other abilities. So that is the new thing that was introduced within box two, that particular mechanic. Other things you're gonna get from box two, a whole new stack of objective cards. Now, when you get this game, first printings of the game actually have this in reverse. So you would actually need to get here and slap them down uh, from the top to the bottom like that, in order to put them in the order that you would need them for the game. So in order to be like, flip this over and that is your first event as opposed to flipping it over and it's your last event. Uh, Rodney Spitz, Watch It Played, actually called that out and everything. I didn't talk about that in uh, my box for one run, but just an FYI, first printing of the game, do have these in reverse order. It's not that hard to 
put them again in the right order for the game or what I did is I just kind of flipped the whole thing over and just went from there but you're not supposed to see the next event until it's revealed kind of like how the enemies are so just an FYI for that but whole new stack of objectives and rewards within here we will see those as we go through a lot like I said there's we had five in the first round we have 10 now that we have to do right here so that is a lot of enemies that we have to deal with, especially one at a time. A whole lot more of nastiness from the Fire Nation that are going to hurt us. I've decided to stand up the ship this time, see how that looks on uh, camera better. The market deck is also double the thickness as well. I just shuffled in those allies as well that uh, I showed you on the previous camera. So they are now floating around somewhere in here. We'll put them down in a moment. But also, as you notice, we have Earthbending. I called it out a little bit before, but I want to just talk about it more now. We only had these two abilities, Stone Levitation and Rock Spire. You can see what they do. And if we have the Earthbending abilities uh, from our characters, what they additionally do. In addition to that, there's new Air and Water Bending. And this is technically what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take them, take all of the bending skills, shuffle them around, and then just like the main market, well, sort of, you flip this over, and we have the Water Sphere Shield here, and then we move this here. And then just like the market is actually a good example, we keep pulling down, wow, okay, there's three of those in a row, uh, until we have two unique bending styles showing uh, right here. So I managed to grab all three water shields right there. I'm, I think Ang's gonna have to grab at least one of those at some point. And then for air bending, we have air kick and the directed funnel. So both of those came in from uh, one anyway. There's a lot more air bending in here, and I know Appa and Ang are both gonna like it because Appa is an airbender. Which makes sense because they were the original airbenders. All right, what do we got here? Ah, we have Tio. We saw him at the Western Air Temple. Was that it? Or it was one of the air temples. It was one of the, the, the later air. Maybe it was the Northern Air Temple, actually, that they found Tio on. I forget where it was, but he was there with his dad, and they, like, kind of made it their new home and things along that way. So we like that. Hey, hey, Duke and Pipsqueak. They were part of uh, Jet's crew. Jet's crew. I said Jet. It's Jet. J-E-T. Uh... I like that because it's, that's the Duke and that's Pipsqueak. Love that. That's never go old with that joke. <laughs> Pipsqueak, that's a funny name. You think my name is funny? It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Snare traps. Well, we're just getting all new cards that we put in. Snare Traps will be here for the rest of the game, two to seven. They will always give you a minus one for the ship. Very good to have ship control. You need ship control, especially later on. And Blasting Jelly. Wow, we got all new cards here. That's amazing. Blasting Jelly will also be here to the end. Pipsqueak and Duke are only here till uh, box five. Blasting Jelly, two attacks, that's what it is. And if you defeat uh, an adversary, look at the top five cards of the general sport tech and put them back in any order. Oh, man. Love that type of manipulation for the deck because at least then you know what's coming up next and you can plan better for what it is you're going to purchase. And finally, let's talk about the characters we'll be playing as for Box 2, making his initial appearance in his own series, in his own game, the Avatar, the last airbender, Aang. The past can be a great teacher. Whoa! Right from the get-go, Aang has waterbending and airbending. Of course, he is an airbending prodigy for the most part. Um, and then he's already learned waterbending throughout his course and like training with Katara and things like that. Later on in later boxes, he actually learns these particular bending abilities. You just got to kind of remember he has them going forward. But for right now, he has waterbending and uh, what is it? Uh, airbending. In his deck, he has the normal four offer aids, the two helping hands, and then his specialties are Airbender Tattoos, which is an item, apparently. Uh, two purpose, or all heroes gain a purpose, which is nice. His Airbender Staff is amazing, because it's one purpose, and any bending cards you purchase go on top of the deck instead of the discard pile. It's extremely helpful. He can do an Air Ball for his bending abilities, gaining a health or an attack. And then the Air Blast, which is an attack, and if it defeats an enemy, any one hero gains a heart. He also gained, as a reward card, Avatar State. I love this card. He's, he's almost a Dark Knight in a sense, or a Dark uh, Paladin or whatever, because um, he'll lose three health, and for every health he loses, you can uh, gain a purpose or an attack. He just cannot lose his last ability. Like If he's down to one, he can't lose it and stun himself. So he'll always, at the minimum, go down to one, but that's... That's extremely, extremely powerful for Aang to have. And again, that is a one to seven. He will have that for the rest of the game. 
All right, just a little on-camera shuffle, just so you guys can see. I did a little bit more. Let's draw his first five cards. We have Avatar State, Helping Hands. Oh, I love getting all the Helping Hands in the beginning. Offer Aid and Airbender Tattoo. I was like, I got a lot of power. I got a lot of, like, I had so much purpose that I was hoping to maybe get the Airbender staff in the beginning in order to throw some bending onto his, uh, his character, but that's okay. Moving on to Aang's faithful companion, their ride around the world, and of course, one of many, many infinite words of wisdom, we have the Sky Bison, Appa. He's a gigantic fluffy monster with an arrow on his head. It's kind of hard to miss him. Sokka's just jealous because he doesn't have an arrow. And as mentioned before, Appa is an airbender because, you know, they were the ones that apparently were the original airbenders. Uh, what was it? it? Was the badger moles were for the earth, and then the dragons were for fire, and the moon was water. Like I don't understand why it wasn't an animal, even though fish were there and whatnot. It would have been more thematic if it was an animal, like some type of koi or something, were the original waterbenders. But in any event, Appa right here, of course, has it's the same image. Actually, now that I just noticed it, uh, all of these offer aids. His helping hands. His special abilities are growl, which is an action. The next hero which would be Aang always in this case, may ignore the effects of any one uh, adversary currently in play. So that means if something were to trigger on an adversary, it would pretty much say, nope, that doesn't happen. I love Growl. It helps out so much, especially if you have somebody that pushes the boat a lot. Uh, we have a saddle. Any one hero draws a card. Could be himself, could be Aang. Yip, yip, fly away and knock that boat backwards. We need boat control. It's the only boat control we have amongst everyone. Uh, ter tail Blast, smashing his tail on the ground, doing a huge two attack. And then he got the first reward card of the game, which is Momo. Two purpose, or all heroes gain one purpose. Very, pretty much like the tattoos, which is awesome. All of Appa's cards, just want an FYI, say one to three. After game three, Appa is no longer a playable character. If anybody knows anything about the story, they will understand why. So... For this game and the next, expect to see Appa because I need to get the big fluffy uh, pillow or, or, or you so cute, Appa, I love it, uh, as much screen time as I can before, well, you know. If you know, you know. Am I right, everyone out there that has seen Avatar The Last Airbender? Which again, if you haven't, go see it. It's fantastic. Uh, we got an offer aid. We got a helping hand. We got, I love it. So good. Get out of those now. A saddle and an offer aid. Jeez, all right. Um, I should have Aang go first, but I think, no, I'm gonna have Appa go first because I'm just gonna do that. I feel like it's my game, it's my rules. I had uh, Katara go first last time. Uh, Appa is going to be our start player for this particular situation. So let's go ahead and jump over to the board, see our objective, see our first adversary and draw our first Fire Nation card. All right, our first story beat happens to be uh, uncovered Jet's plan to destroy the village. Yeah, remember, like, that was a whole episode where Jet was, like, trying to get Katara on his side, and he's, like, a freedom fighter and all that other craziness and whatnot. He has uh, Duke, Pipsqueak, Longshot, um, uh, 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 Smellerby, I believe it is. Like, he had his whole group that was supposed to be fighting for the rights, and all they were looking to do is just, like, kill a lot of people. It, it was crazy. That's, I think this was, like, one of those first episodes within, like, early uh, Avatar where I watched it, and I was like, wow, they they were dealing with subjects in here that were way, way beyond that of just, like, a kid show. Anyway, assigning two attack and one, uh, what is it, uh, purpose will finish this off. If you do not assign tokens on this card your turn, draw and resolve one Fire Nation card. So I need to have at least one thing assigned to this at minimum by the end of my turn, or else I have to draw another Fire Nation card, which is terrible. Beating this will add reward seven and eight to the top of the general support deck, not to any of the, um, what is it? Uh, not to their discard piles, goes directly to the top of their deck. All right, moving on to our first adversary who happens to be Oh, wow, cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, man, the, the, the game, like, just, it writes itself. I love it. Uh, so, Jet, we are fighting Jet, and he is, again, 2-2. Two, two. We are only going to fight him for this particular one. Uh, for each ally in hand, active hero chooses one to minus two or discard a card. Um, so, that's just a generic discarding of a card. If you have two allies in hand, you can choose to discard one of the allies so it doesn't affect. There are other effects in this game that say to choose 
that card so you're not like chaining it in a way where you don't have to take too much damage. Um, we won't have that many allies in early on, pending I don't buy anything, so we should be able to beat him pretty easy. All here, search your deck or draw a file for one ally card and put it into their hand reserve. All right, well, maybe I'll grab a few just to have them because there are, there are a few on the board, but, you know, I don't want to lose two health that, <laughs> that soon uh, within this game. All right, Fire Nation card. We're only drawing one because of where we are. Active hero loses two health, and again, there are no allies or whatever in Appa's hand. All right, active hero loses two, and again, we don't have any allies, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Now, I want to see if the, um, what is it, the Aang's uh, airbender thing is next. So we're gonna go ahead and activate this. Anyone hero draws a card, so we're gonna immediately give that to Aang, and it's an offer eight. All right, well, that stinks. I would rather have the bending thing there, but that's right. So we use the saddle. We do have two offer eights. This is just gonna be kind of Appa gaining some stuff. He does need to apply one to, what is it, the, um, uh, to the storyline. I think I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one helping hand in order to give him three. So we got three here. Do I wanna do it the other one? What would that be? That would be one, two, three, four, five. That would be eight that I would have here. You know what, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just toss this one and we're gonna give another three. So. Right off the bat, hop again, I'm like I did before, I'm toss both helping hands from my hand in order to gain three purpose each. And now Appa, who doesn't have any additional uh, attack or whatever, is at least going to have a lot in order to buy some cards. And the way we're gonna break this up is the first thing we're gonna do is gonna put one here. So at least that's the one purpose for this. I signed a token, so I don't have to draw a card at the end, which is good. I have four, which will go here and we'll do Duke and Pipsqueak. And then I have three, which I am going to, we're gonna do directed funnel because he needs some airbending as well because he is airbender. I was thinking about snare traps, but I, I might wanna give that to Aang just to give him some ship movement as well. And at least with directed funnel, I also have the ability with this, may put any bending cards you acquire on top of your deck instead of your discard pile. So there we go. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take the directed funnel. Hey, there was another one right underneath. That's great. Duke and Pipsqueak get grabbed and remember this does not get refilled until the end of a player's turn i have no attack for jack i did that that's going to be the end of oppa's turn two mediocre cards gone two great cards added in and everything just sliding out of my hand fantastic so one momo two three four and a five fantastic and we have ang's turn all right fire nation attacks Active hero uh, loses one health and the ship moves forward. So that is new from box two. We're gonna move this ship up. I decided to stand it up this time. It's a little bit easier. I, laying it down before in the first one looked a little weird. I'm gonna try this way. Uh, now that I have uh, two things in order to look at, two uh, episodes to edit, I'll see which one I like better and then you guys let me know as well. All right, no allies in hand. Let's see what we do. We do lose one health for Aang. Uh, again, we have offer aid. So we got one, two, let's put the two offer aids down. We'll do one, two for that. We have airbending tattoos, two, 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 two. Let's, we're gonna do the avatar state and we're gonna lose three, one, two, three. I know he's hurting already, but I, I should be okay. I'm going to give him one, two, yeah, let's do two attacks and we'll, um, do we just do three attack? Let's do three attack, because we can start knocking out Jet a little bit too. I think that'll be the better thing, because I think Appa might be able to beat him uh, next turn. We'll do both helping hands for three, so I'm just gonna immediately remove these. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, that's eight total, and then the airbending tattoos. Well, I'm gonna give one to Aang, and then I'm gonna give one to Appa, so this way he'll have it for next turn. So. With all that said, that's a lot there. I actually forgot to put a card back into the market, so let's go and do that and see where we can spend all of our tokens on. All right, so right next to Tio, we have, ooh, Meditate. All right, I need to get that into Aang's deck. Besides the fact that it's him there, but just him gaining two health, especially for having Avatar State, is the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply the two here to uncover Jet's plan to destroy the village, and I'm gonna take the last one and we're gonna plop that over on Jet. Sokka has run around, he has warned the people, everyone is safe and they are secure and Katara has learned the error of her ways. We can now add cards seven and eight to the top of the rewards deck. 
So the first one we have is Long Shot. So we had Duke and Pips Week. Now we have Long Shot, so more of Jets Gang. Uh, this is added to the top. As you can see, it'll be here for uh, this game and the next one. And then Long Shot will come out. And then Smellerby. All right, cool. That's what I thought it was. Uh, she is, because that's a girl, uh, also uh, two and three. So these two go on top in this order. So Long Shot will go out first and Smellerby. And we'll be able to add them to our hand uh, if we purchase them. So I got these two here. They will just go on like that. I will be spending four to get Meditate because that's going to be very helpful. And then I'm actually going, I wanted the Snare Trap for Aang, but because I have five left over, actually, actually we're going to go with Ice Blast because that is five. That gains a health, gains an attack, and moves the ship back one for five. Yeah, don't, never underestimate the power of bending, especially with Aang as he is the Avatar. So perfect. And we have a Refresh, which is next as well. A great healing uh, card. Only two needs to purchase that, so that might be something on my radar a little bit later. Early Avatar state for Aang hurt him a lot. He's down to six health, but I do know that his airbending staff should be next, right? Oh, how many is it? One, two, there it is. Three, four, and five. He only has two purpose that he's going to be able to purchase something with, so maybe that Refresh will just go right back on top. Because with the staff, well, no, he'll have three because the airbending staff gives one as well. We know down here is going to be long shot. And with Jet still in the mix, we got to get rid of him in order to be able to gain more allies and um, not have them hurt us. And finally, our next objective. Going down the storyline, the next thing is guide the Zhang and Ganjin across the canyon. Oh, man. It's a good thing that Aang knew those two when they were younger. You could call it luck, or you could call it lying. What? I made the whole thing up. You did not. <laughs> anyway, active player discards two cards on their turn. So they just choose the two cards they want to discard, and poof, they are gone. Until complete, heroes only draw four cards at the end of their turn. I think that Appa should really try to get rid of this as soon as he can. Uh, because drawing four cards is a is is hurt. You can't do that. You need to have as many cards in your hand as possible. So let us get through the canyon here while the crazy things try to kill us. All right. So with all that done, boop. It is Appa's turn. Let's go and he has one. So at least we have a good start there. Let's see what the Fire Nation does. Enemy attacking. What are they doing? Yeah. Boom. All heroes choose. There you go. See, uh, minus two or discards one ally from their hand or in reserve. So the way that this works is that the, so Jet triggers on allies and technically Momo is an ally. I could just toss it and now Jet, when he activates, is just going to be based off of the cards that are in Appa's hands. So I don't have to lose any health. Unfortunately for Aang, because he has no allies, he has to lose two health. Like that's the only option he has at this point. So that that's, he's getting low. Oh my goodness, he's getting low. Uh, we got one offer aid, which is good. Um, he doesn't have any allies in his hands, so Growl doesn't do anything, but Jet wouldn't trigger next turn. Uh, Yip Yip will at least move the ship back to its starting position. Tail Blast will do two damage to Jet, giving him at least uh, that. Unfortunately, I know I have to discard. I have to discard two cards is what it says. Now, I, get, I could. Uh, do I want? You know what? Let's do that. Let's just finish it off right now. I'm going to discard Growl and Yip Yip, so we're not going to move the ship back. We're going to discard both of those. Boom. I still have Offer Aid and Tail Blast, so that's what Appa is doing. This is actually going to complete the objective for getting through uh, that dangerous canyon. Get back here, you. Active player discarded two on their turns, which is fantastic. All heroes gain one purpose, so then Appa has three, and Ang will have one going for the next uh, round, which is good, so we'll get rid of that that uh we'll flip that at the end of op's turn put two down on jet so now he's halfway there and with three to go oh man like i said i really wanted ang to have it but i think ang's gonna be more of the healer and appa is gonna be the one that kind of takes care of uh the ship so we're gonna put the snare trap right into appa's deck all right good job appa and with that card out of the way i can draw five so we got one shuffle shuffle two Three, four, and five. Wow, okay, that was, that's a lot of uh, offering of aids right there, Appa. And your growl again isn't gonna do much unless Aang finds a way to destroy Jet, 
which maybe it's possible. We know that down here, Smeller Bee goes down. So now we have three different allies and the Blasting Jelly. I'd love to get that Blasting Jelly because any additional attack is great. Heck, I'd even take Long Shot because a purpose and a Blasting Jelly? Sure, please. All right, here we go. All heroes choose to discard one item card or minus two health. I, I want my Airbending card. You know what? Everything is going to get shuffled anyway. So goodbye, Airbender Staff, because uh, Aang's at four health. So we can't really do much about that. Uh, and then we do have the saddle over here for Appa. I'm actually going to have him take the two health uh, hit uh, because I think that item card is going to help Aang out more to have him draw a card a little bit later. For now, though, we have one, two more Offer Age. Remember, we had this one from, uh, what is it? Um, uh, oh, I forgot to do the storyline event. Oh, wait, we got to do that first. Can't forget the storyline. Where is the next part of our adventure we're going, everybody? We are heading to face the storm of the past and realizing what it is that he needs to do in order to achieve his destiny and how he ended up in that frozen uh, uh, prison of sorts uh, for a hundred years. Assigning three purpose, if a hero assigns at least one person's objective, they gain one health. That's great. So every, it, if you assign two, you only gain one. So if you spend three turns assigning, then that's three health you gain back. At least at the very least here, I know Aang will assign one to gain some health back. Now, with that said and done, we have our one purpose from before. We gain two from Offer Aid. Air Blast is going to give us one attack. It's not enough to defeat Jet, unfortunately. Um, and Appa doesn't have any attack either, which stinks. I'm going to... That's going to give him four. I need health, so I got to give at least one health back to, uh, to Aang right there. So... These are going to be what he needs in order to, or he's going to use for purchasing and fighting this turn. We'll put the one on Jet. I'm actually going to put two on face to pass here and only heals Ang for one. So he is up to six, which is good. Uh, and then I have two left over. I did that because I'm going to take refresh and we're going to put that in his discard pile. Hey, another refresh is buying that, which is good. Uh, great, great healing card, and again, because he has access to uh, water bending, refresh, in addition to one health, will plus one purpose, and then any hero gains two health, or I can remove this card from the game to use the ability of a reserved ally without sending it away. So, that is good. So far, we don't have any reserved allies, we don't have any benders, but it's we're, we're getting there, we're just starting. And I figured, why not, because this just kind of shuffles the whole thing over again anyway, so... Life and death. Everything is within balance. He uses health to do things. He gains health in order to stay alive, basically. Oh, man, this is so good. All right, good. He is, he is back on top, which is great. Not a whole lot of purpose, but enough in order to be able to do what he needs. So that's fantastic. That is good for Aang. Appa, you're Appa. All right, Fire Nation oh, moves his ship too. Hey, I knew that was coming at some point. Here we are, so now it is at four. And remember, if it ever hits 10, we gotta draw two in order to, um, or for the beginning of every turn. And if it ever hits 15, it's an immediate game over. And the good thing is that Appa does not have any, um, or I should say Aang doesn't have any allies. So Growl, unfortunately, doesn't do anything right now. But if he did, then that would be great to have. Uh, one offer aid, two, three offer aid. So that's one, two, three. Um, Who's going to draw this card? I'm going to give it to Aang. I would love to be able to defeat Jet. Ugh, another offer aid. That's fine. Um, but uh, I don't have any attack at all in order to do that. And in all honesty, I'm going to use uh, one of these in order to uh, finish up the objective. All right. So putting that right there because it was just appropriate that Appa also uh, contributes a little bit to this objective. He was just as much a part of this as Aang was, which is, you know a huge storyline moment of why he was gone for a hundred years. So we did all three, boom, boom, boom. Appa will gain a health, which is great. And everyone will draw one card. So Appa will go to seven. He will draw another card right here, which is a snare trap. Perfect. Let's push that back to three. I love it. And Aang even gets another card in his hand. Good. Something that's an attack, an air ball. Perfect. So yes, 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 yes. All right, back you go to three, which is good, and I have two left over. Again, I want to get Jet out of there, but with that two, I am just going to give Appa refresh. Yes, it doesn't do much. It's only going to be um, one health for two, 
Maybe he'll find an ally to give him some water bending in order to power this up as well. But for right now, I think this is the best uh, action right here. Give him refresh, give him himself a little bit of healing, and then sifting through the water deck a little bit more. Dang, that's a lot of cards for his next turn. That is amazing. Uh, yep, yep, fantastic. Two, some damage, great. Three, four, hey, Momo, and a five, funnel drill. All right, cool. So if he buys any bending techniques, they're going to go right on top of it. I want to get him a, that air kick because I feel like between his... Tail Blast, like Air Kick is just another Tail Blast, but it also gains some purpose, so that's always amazing. Playing cards that have thematic uh, things tied to them, I love it. Moving on to Aang. And moving on to the next objective. We're really cooking through these, so here we go. One, two, three. Escape the Fire Nation Fort. Ah, the introduction of the Blue Spirit. I'm not going to say who the Blue Spirit is in case people out there don't know, but again, if you know, you know. Uh, another really great episode that showed growth for characters that you weren't sure how they were going to be portrayed throughout the course of the uh, the series. So uh, just just action, uh, action packed episode, a lot of heart to it and things like that. And then of course, uh, a race against time, because I believe this was a two part episode where Aang needed to heal his friends by finding frogs, some frogs that you suck on. So whatever. Um, assign three for each, for each attack a hero assigns, they gain one. So if I assign three to this, I gain three. It's for each one. It's not like the last one was like, if I assigned at least one, then X happens. So that's good. Uh, doing this also adds reward card nine to the top of the general supply deck. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Everything seems to be going all way. All heroes choose to discard a bending card, which we both have, or minus two health. As weird as it sounds for Aang, I actually have a lot of healing between Refresh and Air Ball. Air Blast. And am I getting an attack on this? No, I'm getting three health back for that. Okay, no. Now, for Aang, I'm going to just choose boop, boop to lose two. For Appa, I just have to discard a bending card. I know, again, I always talk about ship control, but I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of Yip Yip, which is labeled as bending. It is a bending card, uh, so he does not have to lose two health. Now, for Aang... That's one offer aid. We got the airbender staff, which is very important. I'm just going to leave it over to the side just so I know that any bending I buy is just going to go right on top. Got another offer aid. And this is what I'm also mean. Meditate heals two. Refresh. Because I'm a waterbender, not only do I do this, but I heal one. And then any hero heals two. I'm actually just going to heal two for Angsty. He's already back up to full health, uh, which means then... Uh, I could be Jet. I could be Jet. Fantastic. So Air Ball will do this, and the Air Blast will actually give me another one, and if I defeat an enemy, I gain a health. Oh, man, that's great. Perfect. I'm not going to sign anything to Escaping the Fire Nation for it, but I'd rather just get Jet off the field. All right, so we're going to do this. Boom, boom. So that's six right there for Jet. He has been knocked out. It would have been better if I was playing as Sokka to do this, but... Or Katara. I guess she Katara. Katara would have been the more appropriate one to defeat Jet, but... Hey, this is the first and only time we're seeing him as this. So, uh, all heroes search their discard pile or draw pile for one ally and put that into their hand or in reserve. A eh? okay. So it's either one of these two. It's not a uh, whatever is in here. Ang does have an ally, right? No, I don't. I do not have an ally. Oh, okay, that's a thing there. Uh, so that's the no. Appa's the one with all the allies. That's right. So I searched through here. So. Aang doesn't get anything, unfortunately, but Appa should be able to get something back to his hand, right? Nope, nope. It's in his draw pile, which I think is the next one. There you go. Cool. All right, good. So ally into Appa's hand. Fantastic. And then with four, we're going to go ahead and buy the Water Sphere Shield. So in order to get the one purpose, which is kind of like a whatever, but it's more of all heroes drawing a card. Drawing your card and sifting through your deck, very, very important. Just try to get as many of those into uh, Ang's deck as possible. This actually goes on top because of the airbending staff. And that was a very successful turn indeed. I wish I could have applied some to the objective, but that's all right. There you go. There's everything. Oh, man. Fantastic. And then from there, we go to Opposite. We also see who our next adversary is. Fire Nation ship, any hero loses one health. So it's just, just firing off uh, those fireballs at us every turn. Fire Nation attacks, active hero loses a health and the ship moves up one, which it will go to four. 
All right, I moved it to four, opposite six. Okay, uh, all right, Pipsqueak and Smellerby. We don't have to worry about anything happening with allies, which is good, so two and one. Offer Aid gives us one. Tail Blast gives us two. The Fire Nation ship uh, only does, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, the Fire Nation ship. I gotta lose one health. I'm gonna lose one health for N because you can choose what you wanna do. Uh, but the Fire Nation ship only has five health, so maybe I can knock that out at some point. We are an airbender, so we will be able to use the direct funnel. And now we have Momo, who I think what I'm going to do is give one to Appa, because I really don't need it for anything else, and I'm gonna give one to Aang, just to kind of give him a little bit of boost next turn. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna end up wasting one for Appa, but it's best for at least one to go to Aang, uh, so we can use it to get something else. Actually, let's just keep going with this objective. We're gonna go one, two, three right here, knock out those three. For each one, a hero assigns gain a purpose. So now that's three more purpose going to Appa. So he has helped Aang, which he didn't, but you know, he did in this situation apparently, uh, help Aang escape the Fire Nation fort. And from there, we can move this, we finish this, and reward card nine, which is the blue spirit, <laughs> so awesome. Um, he'll be here till box five. Uh, goes on top of the general support tech. You may play, play blue spirit mask at the start of any hero's turn to cancel the ability of one of the adversaries on the turn. Otherwise, to uh, purpose at the start of any hero's turn. So you could play this on a uh, uh, allies turn on your turn it doesn't matter that's really cool on how they have that here so he goes to the top of that deck this attack is going to go on the fire nation ship and i now have eight eight purpose where four is going to go towards the air kick right here which gives two purpose and because appa is an airbender two additional attacks so we want him to have as much attack as possible the other four I'm gonna give to Tio, or grab Tio and put him into Appa's deck, give him all kinds of cool people riding him, because at the very least we can either gain two purpose or draw another card, sifting through Appa's deck faster, finding those attack cards. Good boy, Appa, very good, very good. Let's go ahead and shuffle these for your next five cards. All right, here we go, five cards for Appa. The air kick, yes, knock down that ship. Yep, yep, knock down that ship. Tail blast, knock down that ship. Refresh, heal yourself, and let Aang have another card. Man, it sounds like this way. I wish I had two uh, adversaries on the field at one time so I can just divvy out attack even more, but that's not until box three. Little spoiler right there, but you know, you knew it was coming. All right, let's start from over here. We're gonna work our way up and around as we reveal the cards that we need to for this round, starting with the next bending card. Direct funnel moves down to reveal small vortex. This is also introduced in box two. One attack and then one attack. And if you discard a card, if you discard this card, gain one health. So basically it's either a two attack card or if it forces you to discard it, you uh, gain a health. You can't do, you're not gonna gain an attack and a health if you discard that card. At least that's the way I read it anyway. So we know that the blue spirit mask is right there again. A lot of these cards are gonna main, be maintained within the deck for at least a few more rounds. These two will be uh, for the next uh, box and he'll be around until box five. And then we'll, of course, we'll have other things that we can find in there as well. Next objective, collect frozen frogs. Okay, so there we are. So I mentioned this thing about the frogs before. So he was captured, Ang was captured. Blue Spirit helped him escape from it, uh, but he still needed to get some frogs in order to, uh, what is it, uh, heal his friends. Assign three health. If all three health are assigned in one turn, gain two attack. I'm gonna try my best to have Aang do that, uh, just because um, gaining that two to attack is gonna be great, and he's the only one that has a lot of health. If he finds that refresh card, that'd be even better. Any hero gained reward 10. So this again, this card would then go into their uh, discard pile uh, rather than into the general supply, and then at the end of this uh, box, this card would go into the general supply no longer permanently in that deck. Because you know what a starting card is based on the name on the bottom of it. If it has a name, that's a starting card. If it doesn't, then it's general supply. Uh, all heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. No, not that. Oh, and I was hoping maybe to beat the Fire Nation. So uh, everyone loses one, somebody's gonna lose two. All right, so Appa has to lose one. Same thing for Aang, but I'm gonna have Aang lose two. 
Ah, oh, man, the water. That's why I wanted the Water Seer Shield to draw the card, but I can't. Ah, oh. all right, so that's there. Got an offer aid right here. We got Ice Blast, so I gain one health back. I'm gonna gain the health instead of applying it. Uh, again, I'd rather just do it all at once. Boom, we'll push the ship back. So I move the ship back to three. Uh, what do we got here? I have one, two, three. You know what, I'm gonna go four. I, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go four here. And what do I wanna do? I can lose up to three. Um, do I really even wanna do this? I really don't wanna lose too much. I'll lose one just to gain one attack and put that on the Fire Nation ship. Yeah, so I think I think that'll be fine. There we go. So I'm just gonna drop the two on the Fire Nation ship for Oppa to defeat that, and then I'm gonna take these four and grab the next Water Sphere shield. Hopefully when it's Aang's turn, he won't have that Fire Nation patrol card constantly pop up, but uh, this will at least enable him to draw extra cards. Levitate's also really good, but I need uh, Earthbending ability in order to take full advantage of it. All right, so that goes here. It does not go on top because the staff would have been the only thing they'd be able to do that. This is the end of his turn, so now we're drawing. All right, come on, come on, refresh. Come on, come on. Air Blast, nope, that's not gonna work. Air Bender Staff, all right, that may work. Air Ball, and Offer Aid. Hmm, okay, okay. Uh, I forgot to move the guy back and forth. All right, but, but whatever, it's Oppa's turn again anyway. Avatar, the last meeple, jumping back and forth and forgetting to do that from time to time. Oh, ship moves to five. So it goes all the way up there now. So now we are at five. Uh, again, if it hits 10 on a turn, I don't have to keep drawing cards. It's just if it's the beginning of a turn and it's on 10 or higher. So I'm still okay. I still should have the ability to push back. Actually, I do have, I've yip yip, so I'll be fine. I'm gonna have Aang lose that health from the Fire Nation ship. And now we have all of this. So I do have refresh right here. But unfortunately, because it's a water bending technique, doesn't really matter. So this has to go to uh, to Appa because it's just plus one health. Um, it says any hero gains two. Then I could have given that to Ang, but he doesn't have water bending ability, so that doesn't really matter. We do have a tail blast in order to do two, one, two, which is great. I need one more attack, uh, which I have it. Of course, I have it. I have an air kick, so I have one, two right here, which is awesome. And then I have one two for the air kick. Now again, for Collect the Frogs, I can't lose health in order to put it on. I would need cards that grant hearts in order to put it on. So that's why I'm waiting for this card to come up on Aang, which let's try, let's give it a shot. First, we're gonna push that back to four, and then we're gonna go ahead and saddle, giving Aang another card, which is the Airbender Tattoos. And then once we beat the Fire Nation ship, which we will here, Aang will actually draw Another card, fantastic. All right, so we're gonna move this back down to four, boop, right there. And then out of the four here, all I need are three. So unfortunately that other one is lost. So boom, 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 boom. Actually, do I even need that many? No, I didn't need that many, it's five. I thought it was six. That's all right, whatever. We, we still beat it, that's what matters. Uh, so the Fire Nation ship has been obliterated by Appa, that makes sense to me fully. And everybody gets to draw a card. Appa's new card is an offer aid, whoops, so I'll just, Grab another one of these for his pile, and Ang gets an offer eight. All right, whatever. He has the airbending staff, so that's good. Honestly, with only three, the only thing I can get is this direct funnel right here. Wish I had one more to get Smeller Bee or Long Shot in, but that's all right. So we'll grab the direct funnel, we'll give that to Appa, and we'll call that a turn. So we'll put those up there into the discard pile officially. Hey, a direct funnel, hooray! <laughs> Put a direct funnel on top after buying a direct funnel. One, two, three, four, growl, five. Hopefully that growl will work depending on uh, whatever enemy gets revealed for Aang's turn, which happens right now. Well, first let's do some revealing. So the small vortex goes down and another air kick becomes available. And our next villain happens to be a Fire Nation soldier each time a Fire Nation or adversary causes a hero to discard a card, that hero loses one life. So those ones that are like, discard a card or lose two life, you're now you have two choices. Discard a card, lose one, or lose two, which is both not fun at all. Uh, let's see if one of these is one of those. Nope, nope, I just directly lose two life. That's, oh, it puts them so low. 
Oh man, I want that healing, but I also want to collect the frozen frogs. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, one, two, three, offer aid. I'll just put the airbending staff on top there so I know that I have four. Airball's got to be a heal. Again, I'm still looking for, uh, what is it, the, uh, the refresh in order to collect the frogs. The air blast will give us an attack so I can put that on the Fire Nation soldier. What do I want to do with the airbending tattoos? What do I got? I got one, two, three, four. Give one to Aang, one to Appa. So Aang has five and an attack. The attack's gonna go on the soldier and because I played my airbending staff, I'm gonna grab the icy blast here and put this on top. I forgot to move the chip back to three, which is what it should be at right now. And then with icy blast, I'll be able to put that on top as well. And I'll be able to get a water whip a little bit later. Yeah, let's fill up. He has a lot of airbending and some good water bending too. All right, we're gonna put icy blast up here. All this goes into the discard pile. One, two, oh, nice, three, oh, there you are, four, and a five, and my water sphere shield. Fantastic. Everyone will be able to draw cards, hopefully, and have a good time on Aang's next turn, but we do Appa first. All right, here we go. Again, the end of this pile, active hero loses two. Nothing was discarded, so he just loses two. All right, one, two for Appa, down to four. What do we got here? We know we have the three offer aid, so that brings him to four here, which is interesting. Direct funnel, which gives him another two. And I think what I'm gonna do, because the direct funnel will put bending on top of his deck, I'm gonna use Tio to also gain two more. So Appa actually has eight that he's gonna be able to spend, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's, that's gonna be awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, this is a little bit unique in terms of, uh, what is it, the bending abilities, because I can grab air kick, and we'll automatically see what the next one is, which is an air kick, which I'm gonna grab as well. So, small vortex can go down, small vortex can go down, direct funnel. So pretty much all the air bending is, is on the table already. Both of these air kicks are gonna go on top, top of Appa's deck, which is insane, because that's four damage and four purpose. Thank you, Direct Funnel, for doing that. That is amazing, right? Yep, that's good. And uh, yeah, oh boy, Appa. So he's definitely gonna be my main attacker. I should try to get more healing into Aang in order to make sure that Appa stays uh, fit through this whole thing. And we got another minus one for the ship. The ship I'm not worried about anymore at all. Fantastic. Ready, Aang? Let's do this. All right, and flip. All right, so the boat's gonna go to five. So we'll zip that up here, but Aang, <laughs> Aang already has what he needs in order to push that back to where it goes. And by that, I mean a lot of water bending, a lot of water bending, icy blasts. Uh, so what I'm gonna do for this specifically, because I have, uh, what is it, uh, a lot of cards that's gonna gain me health, I'm just gonna make like a pile. So we're gonna put the heart here from icy blast we're gonna put this here and then off camera, I just know that ship moves back down to four. I'm gonna do the same thing with this Icy Blast. So now I have this right here, another attack, and the ship has moved to three. So that's two attack. I need one more attack for, uh, what is it? The, um, the, uh, the Fire Nation Soldier. Refresh right here gives another health, and then I'm just gonna immediately use two here in order to heal Aang and gain one of those, we'll use the Water Sphere Shield to gain one, and we'll draw one card for Aang, which is this, a purpose from Offer Aid, and Appa actually gains a card as well. Duke and Pipsqueak again, wow! You guys wait to the very end to do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and then I have Avatar State for Aang. I can spend up to three health to gain uh, either health, I'm sorry, either attack or health. I have one, two, so I know one is gonna definitely go for an attack to defeat the Fire Nation soldier. One, two, three, purpose. I need to gain that water shield, so we're gonna lose one just to gain one more so I can gain the last uh, water sphere shield that's in uh, the market right now to constantly have that like draw ability going on. So that is what's happening, that's all been used. We'll now take these three hearts and go collect some frogs. So we're gonna sign all three here, and I just realized as well that I didn't need to do that because the Fire Nation soldier was 
beaten down pretty well already, so I think I'm gonna gain one health back for Aang, uh, just so he doesn't go completely dead. So he's gonna be at five, just letting you guys know that now. And the other two will just apply to the Fire Nation Soldier. Anyway, we have collected the frogs. We have saved our friends. Yummy, it is the froggiest. We now get the frozen frogs. All heroes gain one purpose and two hearts. Any hero can gain this, it's going to Aang. Mmm, this is tasty. So that'll go right to his discard pile. The rest of this is all gonna be a set to uh, some cards and the Fire Nation Soldier. So we just boom, 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 all four to the Fire Nation Soldier, knocking him out. Everybody is going to gain a health. So Aang will be back up at six and Appa will be at five. And again, the four purpose that I have left over down here will go to the last Water Sphere Shield. So we have, at, at best, I can do a lot of card draw should I happen to draw a bunch of these right away. All right, I think we're working our way pretty well through this whole thing. Um, let's see, there's the Water fear, Sphere Shield. There's Meditate to Heal. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, two, three, and four. All right, love that. Love that Airbender staff. Putting those bending skills right on top. Okay. Hua, Appa. And let's see, you have a lot of new targets on the board, buddy. So first off, we'll do some bending, and then we'll do an objective, and then we'll do an enemy. So bending wise isn't gonna really be too much for him. It's just an ice blast and the water whip. And our next story beat in our objective pile is save Makapu village from the volcano. This is where we had the fortune teller pretty much tell Hang one of the silliest scenes that I've ever seen in uh, Avatar. You will be involved in a great battle. An awesome conflict between the forces of good and evil. A battle whose outcome will determine the fate of the whole world. Yeah, yeah, I knew that already. But did it say anything about a girl? A girl? You want to know about love? Again, it's just great character development there because Aang is still a kid. You know, he has other things on his mind other than the fact that he needs to save the world and all that other stuff. Um, and then he fights a volcano and basically wins or really does a great job at winning with the help of everyone. So good on him. Assigning two uh, attack and two uh, purpose to this. If the active hero assigns two or more tokens, and then either one, they draw a card. So it's not for every two, it's you could assign two, you could assign three, you could assign all four, you're only gonna draw one card. And then any hero gains two purpose, so that's not everybody, it's only one. And the villain on the next part is, ooh, the Ewan Archer. So these are another one that are only here for box two. These were the guys from the fortress that kept trying to knock out Aang. Uh, I forget who the warden was, but he was the one that like uh, was in charge of these guys. Heroes cannot draw extra cards. Stop it. Uh, you still draw five cards at the end of your turn. All here, so I gotta knock you guys out fast. I have a lot of card draw ahead of me and you need to go away ASAP. Thank goodness Appa's here to knock them off of the wall. Hooray, so that's two, four. That's gonna be enough to uh, defeat the archers, which is great. And then he also has four purpose for some spending ability. We also got Duke and Pipsqueak. Maybe we'll be able to get rid of the uh, the objective as well, because man, Appa is just loading it all up. We do have another purpose here, so yay. That's, that's actually, I think that's enough to do both, plus gain a lot of card draw after we beat that guy. So we gotta beat the archer first before we do the objective, because if we do the objective first, we can't draw the card. Uh, snare trap, so I'm gonna go ahead and again off camera, move that boat back to two, so we are very well in control of that. And Momo, I think Momo is going to, I'm gonna give the two to Appa. I'm gonna give them the Appa. I may change that in a little bit because you know cards can be played pretty much every time. I just wanna do it now for simplicity, but I'm gonna give those two the Appa for right now. There's gonna be a lot of card drawing and maybe I can get Appa another ally like Longshot or Smeller B. Cause I, I don't know why. I want him to have uh, Jet's entire gang. It's just, just because, so. All right, cool. We did all that. Let's go ahead and draw from the Fire Nation deck as we forgot to do in the beginning. Um, active hero loses one health and must discard a card. All right, so we're gonna lose one health and I think because I still like having everything I have, I'm gonna discard the snare trap. So the uh, boat is back at 
three. Again, I'm not too worried about it getting out of hand. We are very far ahead of this right now, and I think we'll have enough power to uh, keep it at bay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna one, two, three, four right there, defeat the uh, Yuan Archer. So it is gone. It's terrible ability of everyone can't draw cards is now deactivated. This is when I wish we had Growl. Um, so that's gone. Everyone draws a card. So Aang gets an Icy Blast. Appa needs to shuffle. All right, and then he gains a card. Also Refresh, which he'll just play right here and heal himself one. All right, now we'll go one, two, and one, two. So that saves the village. Hooray, we stopped the volcano. Uh, if the active hero assigns two or more, they draw a card. So Appa is gonna be able to draw a card. And then any hero gains two, uh, what is it, two purpose. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and split Momo. So one's gonna go to Aang and Appa will have one. But in addition to that, I'll take the two from finishing the objective and give those to Aang as well. Aang will have three going into his next turn, which is gonna be very helpful for him. Okay, so this has been taken care of. We don't get any other rewards added. And the five purpose that I have left over, I'm gonna grab long shot and I'm gonna put that into Appa's deck, giving him two attack and one purpose. Efficient use of resources is the name of the game. All right, next five for Appa. Gets a growl, gets an air kick, gets an offer aid, a funnel, and another offer aid. All right, so with that all said there, Aang will go into a new objective and a new enemy with three already in reserve. All right, so what do we got down here? Hey, Kiyoshi Warrior fan. I might just give that to, to Aang because he, he does good with the fans. You know, it helps him uh, channel and direct his air blast even better. Next part of the story. Train with Zhang Zhang. Active player loses two cards on their turn. From here on, so long as this is on the field, I am drawing additional Fire Nation cards, so I have to get rid of this. So this is probably a good idea for Aang to immediately discard two from his hand uh, in order to help out. But first, the bad things happen. Number one, oh, there he is. All right, so this is the upgraded Admiral Zhao. So we had one dash one. So now this is the more serious and like, I'm going to be a much awful, worse person going forward Zhao. Uh, each time an effect, adds any number of ship movement, minus one attack from all uh, adversaries. So basically that means that he's a healer. He heals uh, his allies so long as he is on the field. He'll be here until box number five. This, if I draw any ship movement, it's not gonna matter right now because uh, it, it's just gonna be terrible. Uh, active hero loses a health and discards a card. And all hero loses one health and cannot draw extra cards. Oh, God. All right, so losing a health, and then both heroes lose a health, and then I have to discard a card. It's always of my choosing about what it is that I want to discard. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the Water Sphere because I can't draw an extra card anyway. And again, because I don't really want to do too much else in terms of, uh, what is it, um, uh, uh, drawing a thousand or f extra firebending cards, I'm going to toss two right now and that would be Aang training with Zhang Zhang, which was a firebending teacher that he met uh, that taught him about the dangers of firebending, and then of course caused Aang to burn Katara. But ultimately that had Katara learn her healing magic, which is even better, or healing bending, I should say. It's not magic, all the magics and whatever. Uh, um, meditate will gain two. Ice Blast will gain one. I am then just gonna throw two attack down and we'll move the ship back to two, which is great anyway. So overall, even though I had to discard a bunch of cards, this actually worked out pretty well. Let's go to that objective. All right, so Zhang Zhang taught Aang all he could know, but he is not ready to learn it yet because Aang has to first master water bending, then earth bending, then fire bending. You can't cheat the system, Aang. I know you're a kid and you think you can, but there'll always be a way. However, with this gone, Aang does gain Zhang Zhang as an ally. Uh, Zhang Zhang will gain two cards and then you have to discard any one card. If you discard a card, if you discard a bending card, he gives two experience. Purpose, I don't know why I said experience. Now, I gain this. Normally, this would go to the discard pile. 
but I think that I can actually plop this into my reserve because I've technically gained it already. So we could put him here. And now for the time being, Aang can firebend thanks to Zhang Zhang's ability. Um, I think that's how that works. It's a gaining of it. Let me just, let me just double check. Hold on. Actually, no, no, I'm going to say no, because in the rule book, it says specifically recruiting, which is buying them from the market or playing from your hand. So I got to wait until Zhang Zhang is back again before I can actually uh, apply his power uh, to Ang being a firebender or whatnot. But that was fun to see for a little bit. It's nice to see Ang as a temporary firebender. Uh, with that said, we'll go ahead and put two on the Zhao just to kind of get him going. I do have three left over. Eh, let's give him, let's give Ang a water whip. Gain one and two attack, because at this point I want to try to gain more attack for Aang uh, so he uh, can start knocking out enemies as well, because we've still got a long way to go with that pile. Just like with the first game, it's going to come to the point where we are going to be uh, just done with the story itself and mostly focusing on getting rid of the uh, the enemies. And I really, really hope that Aang doesn't get a cannot draw card ability, because I got two of his water spheres, and I'd love to give them both a ton of cards. So... Appa should be able to defeat uh, Zhao and see what the next, uh, what is it, um, uh, objective is. Let's just move Icy Blast down, and there's the other Water Whip coming to the end of those two. So not many bending cards left, but we got a lot going on for us. All right, we should be almost at the north by now, if not there. Ah, there we are. So now we are in the north. Defend the North Pole against Fire Nation attacks. Assign four attack. This is... This is a massive two-part episode for the series where the gang uh, gets to the north, learns what they can about waterbending and everything, and then the Fire Nation go in, and the uh, season one finale, basically. Uh, a lot goes on here. A lot happened. If the active hero assigns two or more attack to the objective, also add one damage to any enemy. Which is weird how it says any, because I'm pretty sure I'm only doing one. Yeah, I'm still doing one, so, uh, you know, whoever's there, if I if I assign two attack to this, then I can assign one attack over there, so. But, at the end, this is, I think, the last one for this round. Sokka will gain reward card 12, and Aang will, regain, will gain reward card 13. Alright, I gotta shuffle these up. Hopefully I don't get anything. Well, they're all gonna be bad. Alright, here we go. First one. Um, all right, I'm okay with this right now for uh, for Appa because I don't want that to happen on Aang's turn. Uh, all heroes lose a health and cannot draw extra cards. All right, so Aang's at six. Appa's, oh my gosh, Appa's getting way down there. He needs to heal himself. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to have a stun on this. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to ignore Zhao for next turn. So no matter what, even if the boat moves, no one's going to get healed. We have an offer aid, two, so that's two purpose and actually i think i can kill him uh no i can't no i can't i can't beat him so i can only do two on him because he's five unfortunately and then i can put one two three four right here so i mean oppo will have six six in order to do maybe a small vortex isn't a bad idea because that's two damage right like that huh all right there we go let's grab this Actually, I'm going to take these two and I'm going to assign them both right there. But because the active hero assigned two, I can do an attack on any one. So Zhao's going to get one hit right there, which is fine. And yeah, I just had to make sure I had what I had. I have six in my hand. I'm going to just use four of that for a small vortex. Give that to Oppo. That's actually going to go on top of his deck. And I would have two left over for absolutely nothing. And yep, that's going to be the end of that. It's a waste of two purpose, but we're getting to that point where our decks are pretty much getting to the area where we want them to be. Um, and purpose no longer serves a purpose, if you would. Uh, anyone here who draws a card? I might just be Appa, because I think Aang might be able to beat Zhao. Hopefully, well, we will see during this move. Nothing else needs to get replaced. Please let me be... No! No! No, no! <laughs> No! All oh, heroes minus one. I cannot draw cards. Are you kidding me? How does that work out? How does that happen like that? How? And Oppa's at two health. Oh man, I need to start healing him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I only have, I only have one attack. I can't even beat Zhao because I only have one attack. Are you kidding? Oh man, always. One, two, three, four, and one attack. I'm not even going to put anything there. I'm going to grab Smeller B, even though I wanted uh, Smeller B to be part of uh, Appa's crew, but 
you know, anyone here owe Gang's health, I'm gonna just give that to Aang. Uh, you know, no, no, I'm gonna give Aang the Kyushu Warrior Fan because he needed an attack or anyone hero gains uh, two health. So that works in both ways. And then I have an attack here that I'm just gonna plop down on Zhao. Uh, and then hopefully Oppo will finish this and defeat Zhao next turn. I can't believe it. I can't, how does that always work out that way? You don't want the card that prevents you from drawing. And of course that is the card that you end up getting. Ha oh, yeah, yay. One, two, three, four, five. We got Avatar State. We got a lot of healing, so. Hopefully, um, if Appa doesn't go dead, he has two health on him, um, then we'll be able to uh, survive the round and just uh, defeat Xiao. The, the goal is to defeat Xiao ultimately right now. All right, here we go. Got some lychee nuts right there for our new item in the market. The next Fire Nation card is all heroes choose to discard one item or lose two health. The ship's at two, so don't really need the snare trap right now for Appa, so that saves him. Uh, Aang uh, is just gonna get rid of his airbending tattoo, so no health loss for either of them. I do have a small vortex right here for Appa, which is what I need exactly to defeat, uh, what is it, uh, Xiao, uh, and then two damage as well, just because he gains one whole purpose, which isn't gonna do anything and anybody can draw a card, I am going to give that to Aang to draw that last card in his deck, which is the Offer Aid. Let's finish up the story and then just start working our way through all of the villains. So at this point, the only thing that I really can do is this. I can put two damage on here, which in turn would put one damage on Zhao, defeating both things. So with Zhao being defeated, go over here and look at that. Uh, he is done, all five has been knocked out, all heroes gain an attack. It's not gonna really do too much for Appa, but Aang will have that for his next turn so we can get rid of him. And then because these four have been assigned, we have successfully defended the North. Now, how do we defend the North, you may ask, by a few different things happening. First and foremost, Sokka gains reward card 12. His girlfriend becomes the moon. Goodbye, Sokka. I'll always be with you. Princess Yue sacrifices herself in order to become the new moon spirit after Zhao pretty much does one of the worst things anybody in the show does, and that's literally to destroy a celestial body, which is insane. Uh, this will permanently go to Sokka's deck. It is a water ally, which is great, two to seven, he draws two cards and then discards any one. So this is gonna go into Sokka's deck. We will see this later when we play as Sokka in a future game. And actually there is Aang's right here, Ocean Spirit. This has all four bending capabilities. It's a bending card regardless of anything. This is him calling upon the powers of the Ocean Spirit to just go nuts. This is a 2-2. Two -two. I'm only gonna have this for the remainder of this particular game, which is kind of why I wanted to get it quickly. Um, I gain three attack, I draw a card, and I lose a health because it is very strenuous on him. It's like super avatar state of sorts. So this goes into Aang's discard pile and I'll be able to use this for future uh, battles for this box only. 2-2 two -two is what it says there. Ocean Spirit is gone at the end of this because we don't see this again for the rest of the game. All right, so that's gonna go here. Again, that other one went to Sokka's deck so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, now all we gotta do is just go through the rest of this. We have five more villains to defeat. So the more attack we can get, the better. And we actually have one more objective card that we gotta do as well in order to complete that part of our uh, end goal. So a lot of great airbending for Appa the Great. Hopping on over to Aang. And maybe we'll get that Ocean Spirit through this. I hope we'll draw it by the end of this because that thing is powerful. All right, last objective for box two, activate the avatar state. Now I've been activating this quite a bit and everything along that ways, but this is one of those times when Aang really sees the power of this ability. And now, I don't know, this should have been where he gained the ocean spirit, you know, give it to him and maybe let him have it for one box or something along that ways, but that's all right. Let him power up, show all of his past lives, come together, assign for purpose. If the active hero assigns two or more, they gain a health and then any hero gains three attack upon finishing, which is great because if you defeat an, uh, an adversary, 
give that three attack to the next player to start early. And by early, I mean taking them down. Pirates! Now, this is weird to me. I, I feel like that these guys should have been in uh, box one because that's where we saw them. They're not in this half of the box, but that's okay. So we got the entire pirate crew right here. Apparently they're back. Seven health, active hero loses a health no matter what. All heroes gains a purpose and a health when defeated. Seven's a lot, so we'll see how we go. Let's go ahead and the active hero, ah, great. Ang's losing three health, ouch. Oh no, one, two, three. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um, yeah, and I have avatar state, so that's not gonna do nothing at all. Ice blast, so I'm gonna immediately give that to Ang because he has to. We gain one attack, so he has two attacks. Boat's gonna move back to one. We have great boat control, so that's fine. Uh, all heroes gain a purpose, so we'll give one here and one here. And two health, thank you, Froggies. That <laughs> brings us back from that. I was getting worried someone was gonna have our first stun. We got a refresh, so I'm gonna give that to Ang. I gain a purpose, and any hero gains two. We'll gain that to Appa, bring him back up. We will offer some aid once again. And then I have the avatar state, which I'm gonna be honest with you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hit myself for two, give one and two, do I want it? No, 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 we'll only do one. We'll only do one, we'll only do one to give myself, yep, that one extra purpose in order to be able to assign that to the, um, the objective, finishing off, giving him a health back and then an early hit on the pirates. And here it is, one, two, three, and four, Ang has realized his purpose, his overall goal, what he has to do, what he needs to do in order to defend the world and activated the avatar state. Now he just has to learn how to control the avatar state without it going all crazy on him. Cause I believe most of the time he did this through book one was all out of impulse or another avatar spirit overtaking him. So, uh, or the water spirit actually overtaking him for the ocean spirit. Uh, we did that, he'll gain one health, so Aang will be at six, and Appa will have three attack going into the next round. Which should bring him enough to be able to defeat the pirates, because that's two there, he's gonna throw another three on top of it, so he really just needs two attack and the pirates are defeated. So, we'll be able to knock through them uh, in the next round as well. So, that's, that's, that's a good thing to do. No more objectives, just villains in order to take down. And we're about halfway through the uh, villain deck, a little bit more actually. So if I just kind of focus on, uh, if I'm gonna purchase anything, anything with high attack values, then that'll get it through faster. Great, great. It'd be wonderful if I actually had some attacks here for Aang, but nope, uh, Zhang Zhang is enabled me to draw. That'll draw too, so maybe I'll end up getting something in the end. Appa, on the other hand, he has some good attacks, right? Does he? I think so, the air kick, maybe, we'll see. At least now I know this won't kill him when this flips over. Uh, oh yeah, three damage, oh boy, that would have been awful. He's still not doing too good, but I see the frogs in Ang's hand, so maybe that'll uh, save him for a little bit. Uh, we do have three already. The air kick will do this, so we know that that defeats the uh, the pirates, and we have three there, and an offer aid. Uh, we got a funnel, so that's two, and then bending goes on top. And the boat's already as far back as it can go. I think I'm just gonna not draw a card because I don't have any other things to assign attack to. Uh, I'll do two for Tio and see if I can get some strong bending skills for uh, for Appa. Actually, just for the sake of this, I'm gonna spend all eight here. Uh, one, two, three, four, no, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five for the Blasting Jelly to gain him a two attack and then three for the Leeching Notch, which is one attack and one health. These really helped out last time, so good to put those into his deck. And then the five, boom, 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 right there on the pirates. They are defeated. Everybody gains a health and they gain a purpose. So Aang will be able to uh, gain a purpose ready for the next round. And then of course, everyone gains an additional health. I, I need this health because these guys are knocking me down really quickly. All right, good. Again, I don't even know what the chances are of me being able to uh, find those coming up. But yeah, air kick, yeah. Give me attack, growl. Yeah, they can't do nothing. Uh, long shot, thank you, and pushing the boat back. All right, Aang, I don't know what you're gonna do against a villain, but we'll see what happens. And now we get to sift through this. As you saw, box one, we went through this really fast. Box two, I barely made a dent. Hey, it's Boomy! I wish Boomy actually did an attack, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, yes, I pulled him, yes, yes! Mm. <laughs> My cabbages! 
So Cabbage Dude is going to be here, and I'm going to call him that, uh, for the rest of the game to the box seven all the way through. Um, he does push the boat back one for some reason. His cabbages make the, you know, I guess, funkiness for the boat. But if you end up discarding him, you will gain two attack because he's mad that his cabbages, my cabbages got destroyed. Oh, that is amazing. I was hoping we would pull something like that from uh, from box two. Oh, it's Uncle Iroh constantly moving the boat forward. We got to knock him down quickly. Uh, this is also the last, uh, what is it, box that we will see Iroh in. And finally, all heroes choose to discard a bending or lose two health. And then now the ship is at spot number two. Well, I know I'm losing two health for Aang because I don't want to get rid of my water sphere shield because I want to draw the cards. I got to... I gotta get rid of the air kick. I have to, because the op is at three health and I don't have any, oh no, you know, I think, all right, down to one, down to one. I have the frogs, so I think the frogs will be okay. Let's do this first. Let's play the frogs. All heroes gain one and they gain two health, so that's good to have there. Let's play the water sphere shield, do that, and everyone's gonna draw a card up, uh, Andrew Airball. Appa draws Tail Blast. Oh, that's good. I'm going to play Zhang Zhang right now, which is drawing two cards and discard any one card. So the two cards I draw are Offer Aid and another Offer Aid. Honestly, both of which I don't really need right now, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, Airbending Staff, another Offer Aid. Yeah, just dig through those as fast as I can. Was that one, two, three, four? Um, I guess I really should just start knocking down Iroh because... It would either be a healing for Aang or an attack, and a little bit of attack on him would probably go a long way. So let's do that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think that'll work. And I anything goes on top? Yeah, I have my, my airbender staff. So the small vortex right here, which is an airbending thing, will go on top for four purpose, giving Aang at least two attack on his next turn. And I will, boom, we'll get one damage done to him, which is good, because again, we just want to sift through this fast, so... Only got three more left, four more in total, technically. Moving right along, that goes there because of the staff. Boom. So we know that we have an air vortex, so it's some damage. Another shield, that's great. Blast, fantastic. Another blast, yeah, sure. Sure, move that ship all you want, I don't care. Aang's got you covered. Man, it's so good, I love it. All right, so we know that the ship is gonna get moved back one for sure. Uh, okay, so the ship is moving two. Ship's moving itself up to four, that's good. So now those icy blasts can actually do something. And then Appa is down one health. All right, down to two. And let's see what we got in terms of damage wise. So we know we're doing two there. I'll push the ship back to three. Got another two and two. So one, two, one, two, long shot. Oh, that's it, that's six, yes. Oh, yes, 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 that's amazing. Um. We got an offer aid and a growl. Unfortunately, the growl is actually going to do nothing because I'm going to defeat Uncle Iroh and he is currently not in play at the end of the round. But hey, I'm going to currently defeat Uncle Iroh. Sorry, my man. You're, you're, you're one of my favorites in the series, but you got to go right now. So the four purpose that I have right here is going to go for another small vortex, just getting that two extra damage going into his uh, deck. And the six attack are gonna go right on to Iroh. Boom, boom, boom. The ship is gonna move the two, and any hero gains two health. I'm giving that to Appa, bringing him to four. And back you go to two, and up you go to four. We got a small vortex, right? I didn't have anything else. Uh, no, no, okay. I didn't know if the vortex, or I had a funnel or something to throw that on top, so. Hey, small vortex, fantastic. Hey, air kick, fantastic. Hey, pips. Wow, that's a lot of damage that I just did there. That's one, two, three, four, six damage uh, and possibly drawing of a card. See, that's what I mean. This is like now at this time where you just kind of focus on doing as much attack as possible and getting through these villains. Uh, as far as our villain goes, ooh, the Canyon Crawlers. Wow. Okay, all heroes must discard an ally with earthbending or lose one health. We don't have any allies with earthbending. I mean, Boomy is on the, the, the field, but... That's not going to really do too well for us. However, it is only five, and this is the only box that it comes in because we already went through the canyon. So makes sense that we see these guys uh, shuffled into here at some point. Uh, so not really too bad. Definitely can handle them. As far as the Fire Nation goes, it pushes the boat back up to four, but I'm going to push it back to two. 
because what I have in Aang's hand is one icy blast, ah, 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 which brings me to seven, two icy blasts, ah, 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 which brings me to eight. Uh, that'll give Aang two attack and pushes the boat back to two, one for each. Appa goes up to six. I forgot to do that. Got two more damage right here from the water whip. So that's good. Got a purpose, which I'm probably not going to use at all. Uh, water sphere shield. We'll go ahead and do this and everybody draws one. So Aang gets a refresh. Oh, that's good. Appa gets an offer aid. Yeah, let's drop that down now. I'll give Aang one and Appa two and another one of those and the air vortex, which I don't think is going to matter at this point. One, two, three, four. No, it does. It absolutely does. I have one extra, which is fine. But at the same time, well, bam, uh, that's all I needed to defeat the canyon crawler. Airbending style coming in, knocking these big bugs off the wall. All right. One, two, three, four, five, extra overkill attack, which doesn't really matter at all. Um, everybody had to lose a health uh, because of the canyon crawlers. I forgot about that. Must have scarred an ally or a bending uh, to lose a health, uh, which wouldn't have mattered at all because now everyone gains two health. So really everyone's only going to gain one health. Aang's going to be at 10, so he's at max. Appa's at nine. Man, I was really scared for Appa for a moment there. So canyon crawlers have been defeated. Fantastic. And we'll just use the last three to throw the Water Whip into Aang's deck. Again, just for the attack purpose. Can't put it on top, but we are going to go ahead through that. So one, two, yes, three, four, yeah, my Ocean Spirit, five. And a draw. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we only have a few more left. Who's next? Line them up and knock them down. We have, ooh, June and Nyla. Uh, this was a fun episode, too, because... Uh, you get introduced to June. I wish she was in the series more. She needed to be in the series more seriously. Um, as a bounty hunter, kind of going after Aang, hired by Zuko with her... I forget what the actual creature's name was, but it hunted through scent. And that uh, they led it to a perfume world... Uh, from world <laughs> perfume village. And uh, Sokka just has all of his great ideas and everything. So that's fantastic. Uh, June and Nyla will be able to push the boat up one. We will see her up until box five. And right now, the active hero, which is Appa, loses a health, discards a card, and the boat moves to three. I'm just going to immediately toss... Do I have anything in Appa's that gains anything? No. Um, no, I need the attack. The attack is much more important. Loses a health. Loses an offer aid. I don't really care about that. Duke and Pips week. We'll go one, two, and one. Got an air kick. I got to do five damage, which I think I can do, actually. So that's good. Oh yeah, there it is. Forgot my air vortex gave me two. So once again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Momo, I'm actually going to just give one Appa and I'm going to give one Aang because I only want one. And for my saddle, I'm going to let Aang draw it to see if he can... Oh, perfect. Air blast. Fantastic. So this is, this is, this is actually fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, get back here. I mean, we're just going to go put the five on there. So June and Nyla have been eliminated within moments of them coming in. So our boat whoosh all the way back to starting position as it goes minus two. Beautiful. And then actually to fulfill what it is I wanted to do for this whole game, uh, Smeller B is going to go to Appa. So now Appa has Jack's entire crew, Jet, Jet, I'm not playing Final Fantasy X, Jet's entire crew on his saddle, ready to go and defend uh, whatever it is that they're defending. So let's go, Smeller B. It's not going to matter. We're not going to be able to see her anyway. At least I highly doubt it because once Aang goes, he is going to pretty much finish this up. All right. Two, three. Ah, why are you upside down? Duke at Pipsqueak is reversed. There we are. Beautiful. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to see Smeller B. Would have been nice, but that's all right. Um, with Aang's turn happening now... We're going to see our final adversary and most likely defeat it immediately. And of course, why would you have something that, again, it writes itself. How does it write itself? I love it. Prince Zuko. We already had him before uh, at the end of the last box. We are going to see him come up quite often uh, for the next few boxes. Each time an effect would add any number of ship movement, the hero loses two. Uh, and there you go. So now there's even more cards that do ship movement. So active hero loses one and the ship moves up one plus two. So it's actually going to be uh, Aang's going to lose three health and the ship's going to move to spot number two. 
Trust me, these will go much faster once I'm able to fight multiple uh, enemies at once. Uh, ocean Spirit. Well, first this goes to three. Uh, we're going to go down four because the Ocean Spirit is massively powerful. I'm glad at least we were able to use that for this game for once. Uh, one, two, three. Damage right there. I need to do six to defeat Zuko. Drawing a card. Avatar stage. Sure. Sure. Let's just one, two, three. That's it. That's the win right there. Uh, defeating. Come on. I'll try to pick up everything. <laughs> wow. And just went hog wild on him. Uh, do a seventh damage. Uh, defeated him, so we'll gain a health back from that. We'll have healing again from the fan. Uh, we'll just use some of that, some of that, some of that. We'll draw our last card to meditate at the end in order to fully come to the realization that we have won the day. Box two completed. Wasn't Aang that defeated Zuko at the end of this book. It was Katara and her amazing waterbending skills through the light of the moon, but hey, it is what it is. And also Zuko learns a little bit more about himself with each loss and each failure. Aw, oh, we'll learn more about that later on. But there you have it, everybody. That is box two of Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang's Destiny. Let me know what you thought of it all down in the comment section below. There are a lot of things that we have not seen yet from here that were introduced in box two. I'm not going to go over all that about all the things. Like, there's there's just one thing I want to show. Actually, it's three things. I want to show Tui and La, which are the uh, moon and ocean spirits. I only show these because these are coming out of the deck right now. They were only introduced for this game, 2-2. So these would have been a possible ally. The canyon guide would have also been a possible ally. All heroes gain two presents, um, or purpose, what I should say. Uh, and then we also had Princess Yue herself, which we know now is a moon spirit inside of Sokka's deck. She also would have been uh, an ally. Could you imagine pulling both of these at one point if you were playing as Sokka? Like, Yue all around. Man, poor man. Poor, poor guy. Just, he had a rough time with this one, didn't he? But I just wanted to show off these three because they are not going to be in the support tech going forward. I'll talk about this again at the beginning of the next episode, but wanted just to show them off as they were part of it as well. Uh, we're also Tyro and Oiji, Oija, o Oyajin or whatever, Oyaji are also coming out for this uh, at the end of this particular box. Again, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you thought of this down in the comment section below. What do you think of this game? What did you think of the playthrough itself? Do you like how Aang plays? Do you like how Appa plays? And all that other fun stuff. Next time we go into box three, which is actually the beginning of the Book of Earth or Earth Book or season two or whatever you want to say it may be. Um, I loved uh, book one of Avatar. It made a lot of uh, characters really stand out and everything. It gave a lot of background and uh, like purpose to them and their journey throughout the world in order to stop the Fire Lord and things along that ways. Or, but Book Earth or whatever, the season two, that is my favorite. That is my favorite out of the entire series. I love the fact that it's three boxes within this game, so you got a lot of details with it and everything. Plus we get to meet some of my favorite characters of all within the, uh, the next three boxes. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. Let me know some of your favorite moments from book one of Avatar The Last Airbender. And again, as always, if you're interested in seeing this or any other fun videos I put out for you to enjoy in the future, be sure you are subscribed to The Home Gamer Dad. If you wish to support the channel even further, you can see a bunch of different ways down in the description section below. I mentioned the affiliate link for purchasing this game through Amazon. Those are always helpful. Memberships and Patreons get these videos earlier, so you'll be able to see me go through um, those boxes sooner than later. And then, of course, just honestly, if you don't want to do any of that, your view, your like, your share. Tell me where you're sharing this, what social media sites you're going to, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff and more go a long way to helping the channel grow. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm going to take a little bit of a break from this for right now. We will be back uh, after a few weeks, uh, after I do some spooky stuff for October, um, in order to go into the Book of Earth. Uh, and then that'll just go one, two, three, right through that. And then again, we'll probably do another break and then I'll do fire a little bit later. Uh, this is also going to be way in the future and you won't have to wait that long at all. In any case, take care of yourselves and each other. We are family forever, gaming together. Thank you guys so much again. Whatever element you are, wherever you are in the world, we are all connected. We are all as one. And for that, we will learn to live in balance and harmony. The koi fish! I must be going now. 
will meet again. <laughs>